Hello, where you doing, Sophie Place, and welcome back to Cosmoteer. So, uh, this time we're going to build a Star Destroyer. We want to modify a Star Destroyer. Picked this one here, the Praetor 3 class, because it has lots of space work we need to work with, and it's pretty darn big as well. Now, I wasn't able to find a there's blueprint for this particular Star Destroyer, but I didn't find a different one. That seemed to be a decent fit. So we're going to work off that and see how we can improve this into something worthy of the Empire. Right, so let's get started. First of all, I just need what I have to work with. Also, can't I rotate this? We are going to start with the turbo laser I think. According to the blueprint, turbo lasers are mounted on this area up here. But of course, in this game there's not really space so we can't exactly work with that. So we're going to put them along the little edge over here. Heavy turbo laser, I believe the Empire used green. Let's see what other weapons we have actually. These are post lasers. These are Star Wars, Star Trek stuff. Does it look like we have Star Wars weapons here though? Maybe it's a higher tech group. No? Yeah, these are all lasers and stuff. Or phasers and whatnot. Alright, so I guess weapons wise we are stuck with. these ones here, which is fine. I'm just not sure how powerful they are, but we'll, we'll see. Alright, let's get to work. Oh. Now, do we have ion laser? Um, what's it called? Ion cannons. I don't think we do, and the closest thing we have to ion cannons will be these electro bolts. I think we can put some alongside these turbo lasers. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Okay, that's six. I think it takes up the weapons. But I guess we can add the photon torpedo launchers. Proton torpedo launchers. Do we do we even have proton torpedo launchers? No. Okay. And it's blueprint that says that it doesn't have any problems with the options, so we'll go follow that. Right, next order of business will be the engines. The vanilla engines just aren't powerful enough for a ship like this, so... What? What? Okay, let's not use that. What engines do they use? Uh, hmm. Ion engines. That looks a bit. Yep, yeah, ion engines. Do we have, I'm pretty sure we have it. There we go. It's fusion engines, though. Do we have ion engines? I guess we don't have any ion engines in the game yet. So we'll have to use the fusion engines as a backup, as a alternative. This requires tech group, uh, tech group 3, so let's do that. Where is tech group 3? There it is. There we go. Let's take care of the engines. Next order of business will be the shielding, I think. We are going to use bubble shields, or the interior, interior shield generators. And we're going to need a lot of these to cover the whole, whole ship. Let's get a look up something real quick.
Okay. So these, what we use Dunium for armor. Or actually, we should probably use Durasteel instead. I just re I re looked it up just now and realized that Durasteel is actually from Star Wars and not Star Trek. But, I should realize it already. It's like Star Trek stuff is like Trekking and also something like that. Yeah, so I think it an armor. I'll fix the galaxy up later. For now, we're going to use Dora Steel to patch this guy up. This one's a fun tip, makes it much easier, I think. Okay, I think it's all the external armor pieces. We'll add more later if we need to. Which you probably will. Right. Next order of business, shields. Interior shield generator. I'm gonna need a lot of these. You quite have all that too, I think. Is this new? There was an update, I think, so I guess this makes sense to have these new things show up. Okay, uh, power, we have adequate power, I think. Oh, maybe if we get rid of these, it'd be better. Yeah, that's... Helping a bit. So it makes you wonder if we should get more shields now. This is a Star Destroyer after all, so... Well, well, let's get some important stuff out of the way first. Now we're going to, def we're going to get more, more crew members than we need for sure, because there, there tends to be an issue of our people prioritizing the shield generators and not mining weapons. Which is fine normally, but if you go fight back, you're just screwing yourself over, to be honest. So, we need to have more people than we actually have. That we need, I mean. Does it be see how much crew they have? No? I guess not. They also have, the blueprint also says they have like a hanger, but. Fingers aren't trying to prevent their game yet. Okay. Nearly 1400 people, that should be enough. Next order of business interior armor. I seen from the battle with, uh. from the galaxy class that interior armor is pretty darn useful. So we are going to do, it, do this. Have the interior armor protecting the, sh the, the, the reactors from external firing, external damage, I mean. And yeah, we can also have and use corridors to send out people, like moving walkways and whatnot. We don't even really need FTO just yet, especially because we're just, this is pretty much a sandbox world and we don't use the FTO at all. Now we're not done yet, like not by a long shot. Even after these quarters are set, we have to, well, I want to set another layer of shields on the inside. And then we, I also want to do one more thing for the other layer. So yeah, a lot of work left. Oops. Two thousand crew members. I may have gone a little, little over overboard of the ship. Anyways, where were we? Let's make this all first, just so I can...
Refresh new cage shit, yes. Do are people do are people not like the corridors? Or the movie walkways? I guess some people like it, but no one's using it right now. Very well. There we go. Right, 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 right. Energy storage. I would like to have some energy storage on the outside, near the near the passers and what near the razors. These won't explode when they're destroyed, but they can still provide power relatively quickly to the turbo lasers. And engines, yeah. So, all in all, very useful. In the meantime, the people from the inside can bring power to the, the storage, storage points. Right. Thank you so much. We'll save this before anything happens. And then power up. So after an hour and 45 minutes, the first design is finished. Hit it against something. You are 17,000 tons. 2.1k souls. And value that nearly 12 million dollars. Let's see if you find the galaxy. <laughs> Not sure if it will be possible. But we'll, we'll see. Here yeah, too. Yeah. Um, we'll just play one. Wait, what? Piercing damage and just strap killed her. Wait. Is this sh did you shred the armor? This is also because of the piercing damage. I 
Dat is ook de reactie. Vlat op heel zodra. I mean, you could push up the ship is wrecked now. But it's still, f still in fine shape. Like, I guess the galaxy is really open at this point. Way too many redundant no shields. Okay, it's really just a little bit of our OP. Alright, you know what? Let's... We know the end. We know the winner of this one. Why have we fed the constellation? We don't have the final torpedoes. Four of you should make an even fight. Yeah. Form computer is straight up OP. Against the phasers, you can do you do this fine. Most of the people are just aren't doing anything though. Oh well. well. Probably the ship is taking some damage. Okay. Tugging the back is gone, bro. Yep. It's okay. Relatively minor damage. Very rare weaponry though, that's a bit unfortunate. There goes that ship, that part. Let me turn around. Hopefully I'm more my number than I give you credit for. Yeah, you're pretty maneuverable. Considering how big you are, pretty maneuverable. Okay, that takes care of that. Are you like stuck to us? You are, aren't you? 
Did you not have any weapons on the rear? That's a big issue. Oh wow, everyone's actually working. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay. I think let's hear that. You think the damage was as much as I thought you would? Cool. Your zinc comes back pretty quickly, too. Well, at this point, it needs to recharge a bit. There we go. Alright, we're going to put you against the Death Doctor. I honestly don't think you'll win this one, but it should be for an interesting match. Can't you get in there? Okay, yeah. This locker outmaneuvers you. It's something way too heavy. Unless... We're gonna do heavy damage. Especially since they're mostly penetrating the rounds too. Oh, they're all penetrated around for that matter. Why are you moving away? Oof. Get in there. <sighs> Fine, we'll do my... I can control you manually. Okay, you're moving away now. You actually put out the fire too, so that would just be continued more or less. You definitely need stronger side thrusters. Your turning is slow as all heck, and your side movement is almost non existent. Still, you're doing remarkably well against the uh, real guns. Especially considering you erect like almost anyone, everyone.
They give the long range weapons, so the. And the real thing is basically a ton of. Alright. We'll try turning off your AI. And then just have you. fire bosses at each other and see who does better. So if you can sustain broad side on on this guy, you are Pretty much guaranteed victory. Now, the next thing you want to try is have to, you fight against yourself or another one of yourself. See how you do. It should be an interesting battle to say the least. Of course, if we target stuff, we should do better than this one. I gave you a name, I wonder. Right, uh, fudge. Target these things. It's really it's like one of those old naval battles of yore. Two massive ships. Fighting like this. Now, I don't know if you're seeking a lot of damage from both ships, but they seem to have trouble getting through the armor. I'm not surprised, the armor is really, really tough after all. Man, there is isn't power everywhere. We have a few lasers up here. Oh, it's going, it's getting through. Sorry about sharing, it's getting through. Awesome. I 
The things in the armor are the segments of the ships. It's not catastrophic. We can we can lose the entire section of the ship and we'll be fine. Oh, more or less fine at least. There, the final ship has been complete. Okay, this battle is essentially over. Just a matter of time before we carve the ship up. So we are going to end this battle here. I'll try fighting the galaxy one more time. I do feel like we should be able to at least have a decent chance. Or maybe not, considering how fast we are, the I mean the galaxy is. Right, keep an eye on the photo videos, see how, what kind of damage they do to us. Yeah. They crossed the uh, shield and then killed the shield during the turn. And then it is pierces, pierces. I'm afraid of the patient right away. He started sorry for crying out loud. Though, I don't get some opinion. Full interpretation are definitely OP. These are the regular ones too. Makes me wonder what happens if it's on torpedo. Quantum torpedo. You're taking, you're taking out the shields. Just not fast enough to make a difference. The armor is doing its job protecting the reactors. But those flood torpedoes are doing a ton of damage. I don't think it's enough. Target of multiple build launchers. Get like right up in there. Why are you fleeing? No, you're not fleeing. You're trying to turn. Yeah, the galaxy is very vulnerable, so... It's really hard for you, just for a solo ship like you to get into place. And once the final torpedoes get inside, you are kinda screwed. Oof. Yeah, you're, you're screwed. Oh my god, that's the curve inside of this. Yep, full entrepreneur is definitely OP. I mean, at least you're getting lighter, so you're moving a little faster. 
Okay, no, not ready. There's nothing start the part of here. I'm beginning to think I should lay down with a piece of armor through the whole entire thing to the ship. How are you? Oh, we did lose some of the shields. I'll take a. Doesn't really mean anything, does it? Okay, that's enough. There's a there's a clear over here. There is one more thing I want to try before I call this episode. The galaxy was able to face down three boss fleets on its own. Obviously, this is not the galaxy because. But maybe you can take on two. Maybe it's illegal. Is that a new thing? Maybe. Wow, you, you took that action fit quick. I saw down that it was very strong, dropping a lot. What are you, serves? Okay, take fight the right knock. That's a good shot here. Shoes are going down. See, so intense for intense firepower from Red Rock. Fine, bring you down. You are Cerberus, I think. Taking some dam engine damage here. The shield here is down. Where aren't you? Bring it back up. Okay, there we go. I still forgot to put some rear turbo lasers. The blueprint says there's nothing on the back, but. Hmm. 
I kind of want to put some like missile missiles on back just so I had to check out a long range option. Slowly move towards it. Like an ending doom. I don't know how you're not turning. That's what I'm saying. Well, you're lost. Huh. Why are you turning? What? No, regardless, you are the clear winner here on this one. What kind of damage did you take? You lost the turbo laser, some structural damage from the side, side engines. Hmm, must have gotten hit by a cannon shell and it's caught fire. Same here. Armor did his job very well. Cool. Right, I am going to call this episode here. Making this ship took much longer than I thought. Like, it took me an hour and 45 minutes to make it. I'm proud of the result though. It's a massive, heavy ship. That, uh. Yeah, I mean. It's <laughs> cute really well, I have to say. It's pretty true to the lore. Such a persona is lore, I mean. What's this? Hmm. I don't know. So, yeah, if you guys want me to build another ship, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll look up and see the ship to do it myself. Not sure what the next ship will be yet. Maybe something from Star Trek again. Maybe we'll upgrade the galaxy. I seem to upgrade the galaxy in my own time. There also seems to be some updates. Like how we say ship design is illegal. I'm not sure what that means. Or maybe it's because of these. They kind of like disconnected. We'll see. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.